Hey, how's it going, guys? Today I'm gonna be putting a lot of things I got from the junkyard into this car. Like a few things I ordered was the piece down here to cover this wiring. I needed to get that fixed. That brake boot. And I want to get some new ones. That's one thing I need to order too is a brake boot and a clutch boot because those are jacked up. This one doesn't even have one. This one, that thing's falling off. And then I um got another door card. It's in the back in that pile right there um so i want to make my own so i took it off here and then i'm gonna take this one off and take this leather off because i ordered some new wrapping for that and um i also got a new one of these so they both match because this one has a tweeter hole but the one back there the, i got two of them now and they're both flushed because i don't really like this tweeter hole plus i have my tweeters right here anyways so i'm gonna fix that take this off and everything I got a new latch so my glove box will work again. I, um, I'm going to take this off and put it onto the new latch so my key actually still works with this glove box. And um, I got a new handle for it from Pick and Pull for like $5. Um, I got the door card for like 20 bucks. What else did I get? I got a few things. I'll show you right now. I picked up this door card. I got this one. And then I got this one. So it's, they're both like a matching pair now. So, cause that one doesn't match. And I, I just like the flush design better. So I went with these two. A variety of stuff. I got a grinder, um, wiring supplies for the speakers. A couple things in there. Oh, some new weather stripping. This is all the stuff I got from the junkyard. I needed this really bad on the driver's side cause it leaks. Uh, the switch, or the little handle switch thing. Got that. These air vents, they went like $20 online for them. I got this for two bucks. So, I mean, it was a pretty good deal. Uh, oh, this is for the, um, to, it's to prevent like water, like water and stuff from coming in. So I got these, I needed these. Uh, a handle for my side, I needed this. Let's see, oh, one of these things, this is like a cover. It goes be behind the handle. So it gives it that like cleaner look. You'll, you'll see what I mean couple bolts um, I also got some brake caliber brackets cuz so I can put my rotors on I just put those on yesterday or a couple days ago so I got these on so now I have some new front brakes rotors and pads let's see and just a few little things like this I uh, snapped this off because I needed the this side right here so now that I got this um, the little sprayers for your this is for the the windshield windshield yeah they go in those those holes right there and it sprays the you know the fluid on there so it can rinse it i needed these i didn't pay anything for this i just took it i mean you know what they gonna charge for this two cents so yeah oh and another eyelid too for this i just didn't want to fix that one so i just went out and bought another one and it was super cheap too seven dollars for that so i got another one of these because that one i just don't want to fix all that back there i'm gonna pull it off put the new one on so, oh, and a mirror. I got a mirror, a rear view mirror. I finally got one of those. But, I'm here. so right now, I got some speakers that I want to put in, like, somewhere in the back. I'm trying to find a spot, either in these corners right here, or maybe on the back, probably the back. But, I have a leak that I need to fix first, because I don't want to put any speakers back here if it's going to leak. It was leaking a little bit from one of these seals, so I want to pull this and see exactly where it's leaking at and fix right here too because there's that little gap right there that needs to be sealed so i'm gonna fix that um wire up the new speakers i already got them spliced so i can put them in let's see what else do i need to fix just make it look nicer under there i honestly just got lazy and just threw it like that put the switch in and stuff kind of fix this because i don't it's not sitting flush put the vents in I just slide those right, right in, so I'm gonna probably put these in first because that'll be the easiest fix. Pull off the door panel and then pull these little clips out right here. I need to get these all off so I can pull this back and see what I'm working with. All right, so I went ahead and removed all the carpet and stuff. Um, there's a little sound deadening stuff on here that just didn't want to come off easily. But I'm gonna take these panels off right here and then I'll be able to take this plate off and then I'll probably take this plate off too. All right, so I got the side panels off. It wasn't that bad, just a couple bolts and slipping it over that thing right there, taking the seat belt off. There's a bolt down there. And 
you should slide right off but yeah it wasn't that bad to take these off so when taking this back panel off right here there's a ton of bolts there's one two three four five six seven eight nine and then you probably won't encounter this but i have my amp right in the way of one of these things so i had to unscrew this to get to this one but there's at least 10 bolts on this i'm pretty sure they're all they're all right there that's got to be like 10 i'm still taking them off too but yeah there's a ton of bolts for this i don't know why i mean price doesn't move around and vibrate but still a lot of bolts to take off this back piece right here so i got all the bolts off so i should slide that down. this thing's actually pretty heavy never mind i was wrong about that yeah this thing got a little weight on it drop that right there Bam, there's the gas tank. You take all these off and you got your um, your fuel pump and stuff. The reason why I took this piece off is because I don't want to drill or I don't want to grind into this metal and grind into this because uh, that would not be good. You don't want to you don't want to cut something if you don't know what you're cutting into, especially when you have a gas tank right here and an angle grinder would be shooting sparks. And if that were to shoot sparks, well, and you grind into this, that would not be good. So that's why I did that. It's honestly just for safety, just so I know how much room I have to work with. Cause I want to put the speakers like in right here on each side. And you can see too, I didn't realize this, but uh, when I put the stereo in, I had this little tiny hole right here to feed all this wire through. But look at, there's all this space right here actually. I didn't even notice that. You can even see the carpet inside there right now. But if I was putting a stereo in, I honestly would take this off too and just run it like this because it'd be way easier. It Like, you have so much room to work with right here, you don't even need any help. So, yeah, you can see both ends all the way into the back of the trunk. You could even put stuff back here, to be honest. But, um, this is a, oh, this is a defroster. Wish I had that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna probably cut into this and then mock it up and see how it looks. tape on the corners just in case it doesn't cut anybody I could grind it but I'm just too lazy to do it this it's fine just like that it won't cut you or anything because this stuff is sharp once you cut it all right so I cut everything up I made some space right here because I'm gonna be putting another speaker in it's gonna be sitting like flush like somewhere around there so I got those taped up the corners got those in now I'm gonna bolt everything down and screw in the speakers. This one will probably screw in last, but, and then get this bracket screwed down too for both sides. All right, so I just put the wires on. I got these little clamps. These only cost like two bucks online, so it's smart to do this because these won't come out and they'll just be way more secure and it looks way cleaner too. But yeah, just cut the length. Gotta do the other side now, and then plug it into the head unit. All right, so I got the speakers in. Just all I had to do was really cut them out and everything and they slid right in. Got the middle one in. It looks really clean. I just need to get some of the, the covers for those. I know it look way better. But so far I'm liking it already. Just clean out the carpet a little bit. I didn't do my best, but there's a little patch right there. But I'm trying to swap this to black. Let me focus that. But yeah, it looks a lot better though. Just gotta do the, the door cards and it'll be complete. These are real easy, just literally like slide them out and then pop these in. So I got some on both sides now, so that's complete. I ordered this kick panel. I didn't have this before, so got this in, uh, covered all the wires up. Still got to get the new pedal covers. I'll get those eventually. Um, and back here, I had this tunnel here right after that, you know. But I need to still get some more padding under here, so this sits like flush. And then I have some speaker covers that I'm going to put over those speakers so they look a lot cleaner. Here's the other one back here. Got this speaker right here. I think I might eventually get another speaker. This is just a speaker that I had laying around, so that's why I put it in. It's a good speaker, don't get me wrong. This speaker's actually really good. But I'm gonna probably get a Fosgate speaker or something. Put that one right there and just switch it out. It's pretty easy. Just unplug it and put another one in. Um, and that's everything. I cleaned up the top a little bit. It was a little dirty. Got the new mirror in. So in the next video, I'm gonna be 
taking these door panels out and redoing them. I still need to get that kick panel down there too, the little one. I have this one already. So yeah, I'm gonna be redoing these and they're gonna be wrapped in some like black leather vinyl or something, thing like that. And I'm gonna put those in, that'll look complete. And I might get black carpet, I don't know yet. I'm still trying to decide on that. Just trying to put the interior together piece by piece. But yeah, it looks a lot cleaner though. I like it so far. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.